on the fifth. This is the US Women's Open champion, Yuka Sasso. Good season. You said they moved the tee up today, Tom, on this hole, but the pin is in hole location, a very tricky spot on the top of a little knob in between a left, go left of the hole, it slopes left. Back, back over to the fifth, and Yuka Sasso to get it to six under par. Match Brooke Henderson, that's two twos. Came back out on tour and and now who knows she could get her win, her first win this week. Let's go to six. And it's Yuka Sasso's approach on the way. That'll be for a second straight birdie. Has a birdie at the fourth today. Yuka Sasso for back-to-back -back birdies. Morgan, not just a victory at the U.S. Women's Open, but she's had a couple of fifths and a fourth. Let's take a look at the yardages here on this uh, seventh hole, and according to Voice Caddy, it is 100 yards to the front, 109 to the hole, and 135, uh, 34 to the back of the green. Yuka Sasso trying to dial it in, middle of the green, safe shot. Don't want to flirt with that flag too much. There's not much room to the right. Is refreshed. Let's go to eight. Yuka Sasso's third. Played a really good recovery shot from far left in the trees to this point. It's about 12 yards less than Brooks. Mm -hmm. And that's a great result. At the eighth, after a brilliant approach, Yuka to get to eight under. Well, she's been on a bit of a roll on these last few holes, hasn't she? That's her third birdie in the last four. Yuka Sasso on the tee at the ninth. Well, and this tee shot is a, is a bit of a beast, Tom, uphill, but Yuka does hit the ball nice and high. There's two bunkers down there. I think she's going to hit it into the middle. This is uh, breathtaking. I was kind of surprised, Karen, that she carried that bunker on the ninth on the right. Oh, and it's all because of the extra height she gets off of her tee shots. Like, she hits the ball so high up in the air that it's able to make that carry on those uphill shots. She manufactured her swing after Rory. Yeah. He, he can hit those high, too. Tied for second with this woman, Yuka Sasso. Nice. Is, yeah, nice hole, this Karen. It's beautiful. This is from 128. It's right by a ridge, that pin there. It's quite brutal, isn't it? Mm. Sasso now for a birdie at 11. This one should move just a bit to the right, and it looked like she second-guessed that line, a little slowing down through impact, Tom. Got to be committed. Still three under for the day, four behind. On the tee at the 12th, it's Yuka Sasso. And this tee shot is high, and it is long. And honestly, I just have to chuckle to myself watching how strong this shot is. Right, Yuka Sasso flew the green with her second, this for par. Did play a nice little chip. Confident stroke. Well oh, this is Sasso now. Well, having seen Brooks, you know that you've got to be tentative on this one. Yeah. Also easy for the rules officials to see where the slow play is happening and where the gaps are. You can see a lot of the golf course from one spot. This from 122, again, back uphill, into the wind, green slopes from right to left. It does have a bit of movement to the right, so not an easy one. earlier this year, these greens have a lot of similarities in the severity of them. We can get the merchandise now, Yuka Sasso. Different tee box here, Tom, for the players. And this is pummeled. That's very good. The last, oh, her entire career, but a missed one there, and costs her a shot. This is an eagle putt here for Sasso. It is where her distance plays a huge advantage here for her, but you cannot let those ones get away. That was such a, I mean, I know it was slippery, but boy, that was one that got away. 
is now within two. What did she hit for her second? This from 165 does play uphill quite significantly, more so from this lower tee box. Back, left, whole location today. That's back where that one's headed. Mm -hmm. Sasso on the tee at 17. Well, with the drive out, Tom, this may be too much. With 305 down through into that bunker on the left, downwind off the right. Oh, really soft bounce. Thank goodness, because if that gets a big bounce... Well, she's not uh, taking too many chances with it, which is good. Generally a really quick pace of play anyway. Okay, so, fair enough. Just a poor second shot. It was way right, Karen. I think this one's just keep it inside the hole. Put a positive stroke on it. Just like that. And it's a round of 